good YouTube, it's your boy Dev back again for another first listen. What's good? Twitch boy Dev back again for another live listen, man. Y'all know this right there, man. Hey, another new Music Friday. And I feel like Joji's season is getting a bit closer. Just a tad bit closer, man. Um, another another single. I thought it was an actual interlude, but it's three minutes and 30 seconds long. Uh, for, you know, Joji. I, again, I always say, man, as much as we love to hear sad Joji, as much as we love... You know, the melodic, you know, sad boy uh, anthems he gives us. You know, at the end of the day, we also got to protect Joji from himself as well because there's no reason someone should be that sad. Again, I have not listened to the Pink Person yet. Uh, I got to listen to that mixtape. A lot of you guys saying it will literally blow my mind. It will shatter my, you know, the image I have of Sir Jojith. You know, if you think you like Joji now, it's going to make it's, you still going to like him. That This is what somebody basically said. One of my close people. They said you're going to basically like Joji still. But you definitely gonna be like, what the actual fuck? Like, how did the transition from that happen to this? Anyways, yes, yeah, Sir Jojo, y'all like that? Anyways, man, um, the track is called Yukon. Uh, again, I love and, and oh, it's actually yeah. Everybody, I forgot. I'm, I'm, I, why am I actually surprised about that? Um, my Twitch chat told me his new album comes out November fourth, called Smithereens. But they said it was called uh, they said it Novemberine. This shit is called Smithereens. So I'm going to blow you to smithereens. Like, arg, matey. Blow you to smithereens. Arg. You know, like shit like that. So anyways, 3 minutes, 30 seconds has a video to it. I'm about to watch it. So like always, been ASMR. Talking too much. Uh, We got what I just said. Yukon interlude. Bro, I swear to God, bro, this man Joji always has some evil demon shit. In his videos, bro. It's always some evil demon shit, bro. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is not a threat. I promise. Nope. <laughs> in that all white truck, I can barely see shit. Joji got this, like, he just has this, this calming aura about him, man. Like, you, it just, it just makes you smile and you just, it makes you sad, but at the same time, it feels so good inside, bro. Like, you know, like it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it just make you feel good as soon as he starts saying some shit. You know, what I mean? like. Just in time, man. Shout out to Chibino, you know, my favorite, one of my favorites in my mods, man, for showing me Pink Panthers. Because this actually has kind of that go-go vibey vibe right there with that beat switch. You know that I call it the Mega Man 2 vibe. If y'all play Mega Man 2, that y'all know what I'm talking about? Like shit like that. So I love that shit. I've been listening to Pink Panther. This is probably one of my favorite albums of all time. I put her on my wall. She's up here. You just can't see her. I got to tell you, man, it kind of reminds me of that. And I love that go-go vibe beat that a lot of people are starting to do now. Not really house, but, you know, just, you know, teeny boppy shit. You know what I mean? Like... It definitely is not a glimpse of us, but it definitely still sounds good. It's not a glimpse of us, though. It is not on the same level as a glimpse of us, for sure. Hey, was that my shit? Was I pressing space bar? Or did that really beat drop? Like, definitely taking a little page out of Pink Panthers. You feel me? I'm just saying, you know, that, that girl did her thing last year. You feel me? Like, I. Taking a little page out of that. The one thing I say I don't agree with, though, with Joji that he does, I mean, and it's a personal thing, I'm not really a fan of, like, the demon shit. Um, you know, I feel like the satanic, the satanic, satanic, satanic shit, I'm not really a fan of that when people do that shit. That Personally, that's not me. Um, but I mean, if you vibe with that and that's what you want to do, you know, more power to you. I think that, you know, his visual prowess is crazy. The band definitely got some Mangekyo in him. I'm just being real. He definitely, you know, has awakened his Mangekyo. Literally, the man, you know, like I said, you know how you get the, you know how you get the Mangekyo, right? Man, um, Joji is Mangekyo sad. I said in the last video, you know, if you don't know how to get the Mangekyo, you know, you get the Mangekyo, you get the Sharigan, you got to murk, you got to murk somebody close to you. You get the goddamn mon you know, Mangekyo, and then you got to kill somebody that's close to you with already a modern fucking internal Mangekyo, and then you get that Mangekyo, and then you turn into an internal Mangekyo shotgun. You know, I'm just saying. 
it's it's crazy that joji has still been consistent now for the last six years i've never watched his old channel that's the crazy part about all this too like joji for me again when i say i'm gonna listen to the pink person joji for me is somebody that i have not listened to i mean like filthy filthy frank is his name right i've not the only thing i know about him is that he created the 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 when they remember, like he created that trend that's the only thing i know about joji the harlem shake that's what it was called yeah so joji to me has always been this is not a threat i promise nope I love that song. But that's the Joji that I've always, you know, been accustomed to. So when I go back into his past and listen to him shit, maybe it'll give me a more in-depth kind of um, understanding of who he was and what he became to be the sad person. Because, again, I was not a Filthy Frank. They said Filthy Frank, Joji, was the king of YouTube. They said Filthy Frank is literally a YouTube, literally one of the... When you talk about Mr. Beast, they say you got to name Joji as well. That's how, you know, he's up there with the PewDiePies. That's what they said about um, Joji type shit. You know, like, he was a nasty motherfucker. I just, see, but when you say that, I cannot imagine Joji being a nasty motherfucker. Like, talking about sad boy Joji. Uh, the glimpse of it. Like, uh, I can't imagine him. You talking about that motherfucker supposed to be nasty? I cannot imagine it, bro. Like, I literally cannot. Give me, give me love. Give me, give me love. I cannot imagine that being bad. So that's going to be a culture shock for me if that's actually true. But this track, again, is not a glimpse of us, but it's not bad. And Joji has always had a very a knack for, you know, visual representation. So I definitely fuck with this track, man. Um, let me know what you think, man. Get in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to follow me on social media here. YouTube, this is, um, you know, Twitch people stick around. But YouTube, man, thank y'all for supporting. Thank you for supporting. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. And um, until next time, man. Thank you for smiling. Yeah. Peace.